Hello everyone, welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss how to format a thesis or technical report. The first thing we will uh, be looking at is uh, style managing. Uh, in managing style, we will choose three headings, heading one, heading two, heading three. If it is uh, already highlighted black, then it is okay. If not, you can uh, show it by going to recommend. Uh, okay. Now we will uh, go to define new multi-level. In new definition, we'll make first heading that will be chapter. Uh, suppose this is chapter 1 of my thesis. I will write chapter 1. We will number it from here. Uh, and then we will choose 0. As an in indent will be 0. We can also add space at the end of the heading. Then from link level we will choose heading 1 as this will be our heading 1 okay from font we can change its text uh, or font style we can uh, choose uh, whether it will be bold, italic and size of the text also the color of the font after that we will move to level 2 level 2 will be heading 2 uh, to uh, specify level 2 we will include uh, the first number will be from level 1 that is chapter and then we will uh, place a full stop then we'll add number style so after that we'll do the same steps as we did for the heading 1 here we will choose heading 2 as this is our heading 2 or we can call it subheading after that we will uh, format its font uh, just like earlier the font will be uh, times new roman let's select times new roman then bold and size will be 10 color will be black and okay next level will be 3 uh, in 3 the f uh, the format will be uh, level 1 then full stop then level 2 and after that we will no add number style after a full stop I am keeping the indent 0 you can uh, keep it uh, at the distance that you want uh, here we will select heading 3 as it is our third subheading. Font size will keep Times New Roman bold and 10 then the color will be black again and we'll press OK. So that's it. Now if you see when I click here and click on chapter it will automatically place chapter 1 at left now I have to format this text uh, 14 as I did in heading 1 and now we'll keep it selected the text we'll keep this text selected and right click and update heading when I update heading uh, 
this setting will be saved in heading 1 and then on okay now uh, heading 2 we will do the same as abstract is heading 2 I will select this text I will format it just like uh, I did for heading 1 but the size will be 10 uh, now change the color to black now we'll right click on it and update heading so the settings will be automatically saved in heading 2 now when I click on anything that I want to uh, label it as heading 2 I just have to click on the text and then on heading 2 and it will automatically number it as well as uh, bold it and format it uh, just like that so uh, for me it is uh, heading 2 we see it is showing 2.1 uh, if I move on the further topics will be if it is subheading 2 it will give 2.2 .2. if it is subheading 3 it will give 2.1.1 now again I will format the motivation you have to format it once and after that you can click on any number of words I format it uh, heading for heading 3 now I'll right click on heading 3 and update and that's it so from now on, on I can use from now on I can use heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 uh, just by a click I can format any type of heading just by a click So let's uh, look at this. I'll just click on it and press heading 3. So it became 2.1.2 .2, as this is sub part of uh, the subheading 2. So that's uh, how we'll do rest of the headings till conclusion after that we'll move to a table of content so before going to table of content uh, let me remove this uh, from here because it's chapter 1 uh, when I remove it 2.1 become 1.1 and so on see it's 1.1 for abstract and 1.2 for introduction <coughs> and it will automatically change for all the headings now we'll go to view press on navigation when I press on navigation it will give me all the uh, content that I ha have in this uh, document that I have uh, assigned headings to the first is abstract and introduction and when I click on certain uh, heading it automatically shows it to me on the document file or the word file suppose I want to see conclusion uh, I'll just click on conclusion and it will show me the required uh, uh, topic or heading so that's it for uh, assigning headings now we will uh, move to table of content for, for table of content uh, we have to we have to go to references but before uh, doing that let me uh, describe how to format the rest of the text or the body text just uh, 
just use the same steps format one of the paragraph then click on one of the uh, formatting style suppose normal All right after setting the spacing and everything go and right click on it and update uh, after updating you can use the normal to format rest of the body as we did with the abstract we'll remove this press enter okay let's uh, do the same for rest of the body it will save you a lot of time uh, while uh, typing your thesis or formatting your thesis so we change it to normal I will do the same steps for rest of the paragraphs before going to table of contents after that we will go to references and click on table of contents we have many formats I will pick the first one so when I click on it it will give me all the content of the uh, document with page number so we'll just have to uh, erase the current uh, title of this table and uh, we will rename it as table of contents when I update it uh, the art the headings changes from 2.1 to 1.1 and so on uh, I will just rename it as table of contents then change its font and size and color and that's it so we have the table of contents that we required we can update we can modify the document and update it at any point uh, we'll just format it again now let's discuss how to caption a figure suppose this is a figure I want to caption I'll just right click on it and uh, from drop down menu I'll select insert caption here we have uh, the drop down menu so I'll just copy the caption first then do the same steps insert caption I'll just place a full stop here and paste the caption here from label you can choose whether it's a figure or a table you can enter your own caption as well uh, your, or your own label as well suppose uh, picture instead of figure but I'll use the figure label currently press OK when I press OK the caption is done but its format and color is not what I require I'll just change its uh, format it's easy go to style managing from here I will uh, go to recommend and see if caption is on or off if not on I will click on show so it will show me caption once uh, I have the caption uh, in styles I'll click on modify and from here I can change uh, the caption style I can format the caption uh, I will select Times New Roman I can change the uh, size of the text I can change the color as well 
automatic is black so I'll choose automatic I can format its paragraph and everything uh, you can do it uh, at your own time uh, I'll press OK and then we are good the caption is changed to the required format now I will erase the excess uh, captioning after that I will use same steps for this figure as well just copy the caption click on the figure right click insert caption full stop space I will recommend space then paste it uh, for pasting it control V can be used uh, then OK So when I press OK, the caption is done and in exactly the format that I want. Now to show table of figures, it's very easy. Once you caption it, it's very easy. I'll just type table of figures, format it from home. I'll use Times New Roman, size 14, bold. Now from reference, I will click on insert table. Uh, table formatting can be done from modify. I don't want space in it, so I will just keep it uh, 0 centimeter. and zero points you can do your own setting and after clicking OK you will see the list of the table of figures figure 1 which is uh, on page 6 it gives me it shows me the complete caption if you look at it it shows me complete caption if you modify something here and update that uh, table of figures it will show it there as well now here is a small step that I wanted to explain I uh, captioned figure 2 and figure 3 first and it's, it is labeled as figure 1 figure 2 now uh, I want to figure the actual figure 1 uh, it will automatically pick figure 1 and when I paste it here the caption press OK this will become figure 1 the figure the next figure will be automatically become figure 2 and the third model will automatically become figure 3 so this is uh, very helpful in thesis where you have a lot of figures here I can just uh, update this table and uh, for updating it's very easy right click on it press click update update entire table and here you go you have figure one figure two with caption and page number and then figure three as well you can format it if uh, this doesn't look good to you but uh, if uh, you have 20 to 30 figures uh, it's very helpful to use this tool instead of typing it individually after table of figures we will make list of tables uh, if you have tables in your uh, thesis or report which is obvious 
you have to use the same steps as you did in uh, captioning the figures we'll just click on the table select all the table click uh, right click on it insert caption and here instead of label figure I will choose table then I will uh, paste the heading of the table and that's it the table is captioned I can caption the rest of the tables just like this suppose we, we are captioning table 2 you can also format it exactly like we did in formatting figure captions I'll just select this table we'll paste the title of the table and OK again I will do this the same thing for the third table as well if you have many tables uh, this will help you to track down all the table and number it accordingly without any hassle or without any uh, mistakes I'll just put my cursor here and we'll use the same tab as I did in the uh, tab uh, table of figures I'll click here and I'll just check if it the caption is table or figure if it is stable we are good to go I'll just press uh, modify if I want to modify if I don't want to modify you can modify the text from here as well but uh, I think it's good enough okay okay and then okay so here we have list of tables the required tables with page number and the title of the table so this is very helpful in a long report or thesis now we will discuss uh, how to link something suppose I uh, want uh, to cross refer a figure in a paragraph I'll just select figure now I will refer label and number only label and number uh, means figure and its number and from uh, lower window I can choose which figure I can do it for the other two figures as well suppose I want to uh, cross refer figure 2 in this paragraph I also want to cross refer figure number 3 in the same paragraph I will click on cross refer I'll click on figure 3 only label and number and then I will cross it so it's very easy just uh, enclose it in a, a bracket I'll just press control keep holding it and when I click on figure 2 
the screen will automatically move to figure 2. When I press it on figure 3, it will move to figure 3. This is called cross referring. So, uh, cross reference is giving me or showing me the location of the figure that is mentioned in this paragraph. I'll move to uh, figure 1. Press control. Click on it and it will give me the location of figure 1. This can be done in a uh, whole document. We can cross refer tables as well. Suppose I want to cross refer a table. I'll use the same steps. I made brackets here. Uh, click on cross reference. I can refer a figure here or a table. I can choose it from the above. Here I want to Let's see how it works. So when I click on figure 2, holding control, here is figure 2. I can also modify the text written in the brackets. I can write fig instead of figure. In many research articles, the format is fig instead of figure. So I can uh, modify it later on. Now for table, I'll use the same steps, but reference type will be table instead of figure. It will give me the list of three tables that I have already captioned. Now I'll select insert and that's it. The table is uh, inside the brackets. When I click on it, it will automatically move to the table, the required table. Now let's uh, move uh, to referencing. For referencing, I'm using uh, Mendeley a software. You can download it. You can make your own database in the Mendeley. Uh, it's very easy. Once you have database in Mendeley, you just have to uh, click on insert citation it will open the database of Mendeley you can click on the required reference and then click on that icon for citation so I want to see uh, bibliography as well as I have cited a paper or document insert after clicking on insert bibliography it will give me the reference I will again do same steps, insert citation, go to Mendeley, click on any reference that you cite, that you want to cite, click on cite, it will show reference to and automatically show it here. So that's it for today's lecture, hope uh, you liked it, uh, stay safe at home, please subscribe my channel, thank you.